Hey y'all, it's Kanisha. I'm back with another video. I wanted to let you know what is for you is for you. And what's not for you will not stay with you. I think that's what I want to say. What's meant for you will happen. And, you know, it'll, um, that's what I'm basically trying to say. What is meant for you is for you. And what is not for you will not um, stay in your grasp. And you're probably like, why do you, you know, why do you say this? And because I had a situation where, and I've had this actually happen multiple times. I say multiple, like a lot, but I can remember twice where this happened. First time, it was like a long time ago. But here recently, someone, uh, no, it's happened like three times. Yeah. But anyway, um, and I can't tell you if it would have made a difference or not. I don't know. I just feel like it would. But just here recently, someone uh, paid me and they gave me too much money. And I counted, I double counted, and I was like, okay, this is too much, so let me, you know, give it back. And it was like, it wasn't that much, it was $11 over. But I came to the revelation that if I take something or if I excuse myself, like, well, that's their mistake, I just... I don't know. I just feel like that's so wrong in a sense, but I feel, I really feel like it's going to be taken from me in a different way. And that's what I mean when I say what is for you is for you and what's not for you, you know, it will, you know, leave. And we have to be okay with that and not try to keep something that's not for us because apparently I know how much I get paid. I know all this, you know, all these things. And so for me to take something that's, oh my, wow, this has happened like multiple times. I'm just now, like now, um, it's like the film is rolling back where I, this has happened on multiple occasions where I've been given more money than what I was supposed to give. I've been given and I've returned it. And this is not to say, oh, I'm a good person because I, I ain't saying it like that. However, I in that term, it's very easy for me to give back something that I know does not belong to me. But this could be in uh, in a different area of your life. So I want you to be able to apply this to all areas. Just remember, what is for you is for you. That doesn't mean that you won't have to work hard or that there won't be, you know, tests to make you um, kind of question, you know, is this for me or is this not for me? Yeah, that'll happen too. However, you will have the strength, you have the knowledge to know, okay, uh, yeah, this is not for me. So let me turn away or, you know, you would have the strength to say, okay, yeah, this is for me. So let me work hard and do whatever it is that I need to do to accomplish that thing. But, um, yes, that was a revelation for me. And I hope someone else gets this too, because oftentimes we fight so hard for something that wasn't initially ours in the first place. And I could have made up every story in the book as to why I should have kept that money that I know was not mine. However, at the end of the day, I have to live with, I know something isn't for me and I'm continuing to um, try to keep it for myself anyway. And I guess it just goes back to um, being a person of, you know, integrity and having good character traits. And that's hard, especially in a world where everybody kind of does any and everything. And so you can get caught up and say, well, everybody else doing it. So why can't I do it? And I just want to remind you that you're not like everybody else. Um, there's a reason why you feel bad if you do something that isn't necessarily the right, you know, thing to do. And when I say right, of course, I always talk about according to the Bible, because I am a Christian. So yes, y'all, I just want, um, I want everybody to, you know, to be better, to feel good about doing the right thing and don't allow the enemy to try to, um, contradict what you're doing because you're smart you're knowledgeable and you know exactly what to do however the enemy is crafty so he will try to uh, mess you up and trick you up but uh, I want to encourage you to keep going you are smart you got this uh, yes y'all thank you so much for watching this video and like I always say remember to be the change you want to see in someone else until next time bye